Hello, we begin tonight with explanations, justifications, and protests. It all centers on the NYPD spying on Muslims in Newark. Turns out the operation spanned several states, not just New Jersey. And this morning, New York Mayor Michael Bloomberg called it legal, appropriate, and constitutional. Muslims in Newark demonstrated their difference of opinion today. And NJ Today's David Cruz reports. While Mayor Cory Booker and Governor Chris Christie continue to claim ignorance about the extent of the NYPD's activities in Newark and across the state, the furor over the surveillance of Muslims continues to grow. Today, Muslims around the state were mobilizing. At a press conference outside the student center at Rutgers Newark, a target of NYPD surveillance, representatives from a number of Muslim organizations were expressing outrage and looking for answers. Nadia Kaff is a mother of a Rutgers student and chairperson of the New Jersey chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. We're American in every sense of the word, and yet over and over again, we have to prove that we're American. And this news of the NYPD surveillance just shows yet again that the only reason that we're being targeted is because of our ethnicity or our religion. And this is completely un-American. The report details a program that watched mosques and other places where Muslims congregate in Newark and across the state including Abdul Karim Abdullah's shop in downtown Newark. I don't like the fact that it was done underhand, all right, because, um, you know, I would much more pref preferred that uh, someone had contacted me and wanted, me to, wanted some information from me. Unfortunately, it didn't happen that way. And uh, so I feel to a great extent I've been, you know, <laughs> Been abused. The governor and the mayor, along with a string of elected officials, are calling for the state and federal attorneys general to look into the matter. 